Hey guys, how's it going? Been a while. Oh yeah, come up for this pan today. Uh, just to uh, see if I can uh, get my canoe in here. Decided I might as well bring my rods and have a have a flick one in here. A couple of pans here right together. Smaller one here and there's a bigger one just right there. So. So this is uh, my first time trouting in this pan, so I, I don't know what's air, you know, if it's just a small trout or whatever, but if, you know, it's not very far from my own town, so, uh, you know, with the price of gas and all, this is uh, not easy traveling anywhere, so got to try to stick closer to home if I can. First trout of the season, not very big though. A little small one, a lot of parasites on that one. That's usually pretty common, especially early in the year. So this is a fly I've been using recently. I started using this one uh, later in the year, last year. I actually was still, still on my leader from last year. It's a little variation between the muddler and uh, the gold ribbed hairs here. Found them really good. Like I said, that was later in the year, last year. So I did get a couple on this one so far today, but I am going to switch to Old Faithful. So that's my, uh, I say, favorite fly right there, though. It's the gold ribbed hairs here. Yes, indeed. Not a bad little pan size one. I'm not going to be keeping anything today either, you know. I never took my baskets or nothing with me or I'll catch and release today. I think that's a decent one guys, if I don't lose and they fall in. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a half decent trout, yeah. Not huge now, but... No knit they're not with me today, so... Oh, that's half decent, yeah, nice 19 inch trout. I was hoping we could get a meal for somebody I keep in there. Come on, get the buck. There you go. <laughs> yeah, nice 19 inch trout, so you know that's not bad. Let's see if we were getting a meal or something like that. You know, that's, that's decent pan sized trout for the keeper. 
So guys, okay, just a little tip here. So the tip actually comes into this is is like you, you'll lose a lot less trout if you keep at least the length of your line out. If you're using a fly rod, you know, you keep you keep at least, you know, your leader out and uh, there's a lot less tension then on the fish, like your rod and, and your line, because obviously there's some stretch in that in your line. And the same thing when you're using a spin cast, you know, I always keep at least the length of my rod out. Uh, you'll lose a lot less trout that way. As soon as you like reel up, if you reel fish up like really tight to your rod, there's a lot more tension on that fish then, because you don't have that, uh, you know, you don't have your line out to, to release some of that tension. It, you know, it, it absorbs the tension obviously, right? So, yeah, so that, like I said, that applies to either, you know, your fly rod or your spin cast, it doesn't matter, you know. I, I always leave at least the length of your rod out and you'll lose a lot less fish that way. Oh, I just sat down for a little spell there now. Get something to eat. Some mountain house there. Usual this time of year, I guess. Nice and quick. More time trouting. <laughs> Not a bad day. We varied a little bit. Uh, I, I never bought a chick conditions before I lift. I usually checks the barometer and all that. But I never really plan on a day trouting as such, so you know it was the last thing on my mind, eh? So still up pretty early in the day. It's only 10 after 2. But I never had nothing to eat yet today, so I got to stop now while. There wasn't much sign because if I guess a, a sign of a few trout moving at once, I'm not going to stop. So I uh, figured I might as well get something to eat now. Seems to be the majority of the soil so far, eh? Right? Well, at least I don't have to take now. <laughs> Another one. Eight inches, maybe. Yeah, that's about it. That's good. Talk about kitchen release, eh? Hey? Well, buddy. You got him up on the shore. Take the chances and bring the camera out here with me. Um, she's not 100% uh, waterproof with the medium hat on there, so I was half afraid, right? I might have probably knocking over, but hopefully, I don't. bigger I'm not sure some way sometimes the way they go through the water eh? they can put up a nice little stream now that's a smaller one at least I'm plump though yep nine inches all right guys that's about it I think uh, had a pretty good day I must say uh, um, I'm not sure 13 or 14 trout or something like that uh, you know I'll catch and release obviously I can't say I was expecting it, but you know, I was just in one area of the pond the old day, the old day and you know, I, I was never here before, so I don't know, you know, if this is a good area or what. It's, it's hard to tell sometimes, but obviously if you've got a boat, you know, you can try around different places and that, but uh, 
So of course that was the old reason why I come here anyway, you know. Uh, to see what it's going to take to get my canoe here, and uh, once I do that, of course, um, you know, I'll be able to check out the pan a whole lot better, right? Uh, so, you know, with that said, I'm, I am going to try several trips here. Um, you know, there's uh, three pans that's fairly close together. Two are really close. The next one, I think, is a little bit further, but, like, not, not a real big deal. But um, uh, the next trip, I would say I'm probably going to bring a buddy of mine with me. And... Uh, the second trip, well, it could be reversed now, but uh, I'm also planning on coming here and doing overnighter so I can like really uh, spend a nice bit of time checking out these pans, right? So uh, anyway, guys, that's it for this video, and uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next one.